There we go. For I thought it wasn't popping up, which would have been man. Spending time fixing things again. Thank goodness I don't have to. Instead, I just get to be scared. Again. Eh. Sorry, I have like a small spot on my arm. Bothering me. May I walk to the re-ridden landscape, finds Ethan lying on the ground. We sway suddenly by a giant black blob. She falls then after into the wrecked ship. Well, that happened a while ago. I've already found Evie, even. Huh? Oh, cool, you can actually shove the chair. I don't want to knock it off. That, that, I can't reach it anymore, can I? Curses! My plans have been foiled. Am I just not playing as even for the rest of the run? I'm just waiting for. S I'm just waiting for someone to be in chance so I don't feel us alone. This is honestly it doesn't look doesn't feel as scary as uh, the Baker family house. It's just the wrecked ship is less scary to me. I don't know why. Maybe because I like the sea. Maybe. I'm not really a farmer, but boy. What the? How am I even supposed to fight that now? Looks like the game has decided for me. I have to move on. Alright, I have remote bombs. Technically speaking, I could. Oh god! Oh, sorry, that's literally a little gas after that one. No, no, like seriously, I farted. It's... My body had a physical response to that. Oh, wait. 16 years since the Nightmare Raccoon City survivors are still suffering. Okay, this took like 16 years after the incident at the manor in Raccoon City. Because I'm pretty sure lore wise those happened around the same time. Was I supposed to find a gun? Feels like I was supposed to have found the gun already. Oh, bombs. What's in here? Lockpick. The only way I have for dealing with that right now is a bomb. That feels kind of overkill. Why is nobody joining? This is like my most popular series.
It's one side I love to be able to say that there is a most popular series or something that I know works. I don't know I hate to have to say that it's this. Me being scared for like half an hour, not two hours usually. At least half an hour until like usually until I chicken out. Except the first time where it was like 10 minutes. Like, just Jack walking in the woods was enough to scare the shite out of me. Red down. Oh, great. Snowby. I'm usually here to make fun of me. Oh, more bombs. Wait, safe box. Can I access the stuff that belongs to Ethan? No. Damn. Couple doesn't even share their safe box. Oh. To be fair, I don't. I don't think me would. I don't think anyone would ever forgive Ethan for literally choosing someone else over for his wife. Evie's upstairs. Well, that's outdated information. Why is no one here to mock me? Like, this feels weird. And lonely. More bombs. Captain's cabin locker. Okay, that's on the top floor. Hold on. I don't know how audible that is, but my computer's kind of roughing up. I don't know why it does this since I got it. Occasionally it just gets very loud for a brief moment. 
Well, there's nothing to do with heat because it is quite warm at the top, at least. Okay. Hmm. I need to be on the top floor. That's blocked. Now I'm having shivers a little bit again. Oh, I'm here. Where'd he go? I have a hard time believing that the enemies would despawn. No, seriously, where the fuck did he go? Up your ass! Ah! Yeah, no, there was an enemy here earlier. I ran away from it because I didn't want to fight it at that time. Uh, it's nowhere to be found. And I doubt that these spawned because I didn't do anything that would cause that kind of trigger. So, I don't think at least. Ah, so you're about a coward. Nothing in there. Uh, uh, that was a tactical retreat. I forgot that I had bombs. I was legit like, oh, how the fuck am I supposed to... Oh. There you go, bitch. It's not the guy I found earlier. The guy I found earlier is a light chopper. Sounds like an excuse for cowardice. I was legit had forgotten that I uh, had bombs. Okay, that was a dumbass and not a coward. Man, that's a big ship that have been completely wrecked. There is one. Oh, do I, or should I say was? Potato, potato. Potato, potato, I know. But now I have a gun. Suddenly, machine gun. I mean, that's what I went up here for. I wanted a gun. As, as good as uh, the remote bombs are, they're no gun. Why can't I just take this? I can't blow it up. Okay. Feel like if I could, it would at least show a little bit of animation there. Yeah. 
hands. You missed a, you missed a good uh, saving private Ryan joke with the title there. Dang it! Oh, he has a bank! Bitch. B bitch. I am a little shaky again. Oh well. I'm fine. All of this corrosive stuff turns randomly with a black. This door must be locked. Hmm. You are shaky because you are a wussy pussy cowardly man. This is potentially true. And yes, that, that is what meant with the leg chopper. I call him that because he actually chopped off my leg once. Well, one of those kind of guys. Not that one specifically. I killed the one that... No, wait. No, I think I ran away. I didn't want to waste bullets at that time. At that and I kind of just lost a leg. I think? I don't even remember how it went down. Gotta be honest there. I don't really remember how that one went down. I just remember one of those chopping on my legs. Whoa! That's probably not enough to take this one down, is it? I did it. Just killed the main. I don't think that's a man anymore, but still. At least I wouldn't consider it human. Why am I detaching this thing? Oh, for the power cable, of course. But now how will I check vital signs? Pop goes the M run. Corrosive. Light switches. Huh. I swear. The fuck's up with this door? Why does it exist? Yeah. Kind of tripped over my own tongue there. All the problems the Baker Estate, Baker Farmhouse, a farmhouse is a bit more proper term. The Baker Farmhouse, they all seem so far away. <laughs> to be fair, that uh, cable I unplugged was a power cable. Why can't they even try to use the light switches? Still funny, fuck you. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and be better. <laughs> okay, so... I've been everywhere on the fourth floor. I don't know why that door said that it's open, it is not. 
I've been everyone ever, ever on the third floor. Second floor. We're down to the first floor. <clears throat> you will never be better. Yes, you have. You have been everyone. I, I actually still am everyone in my own private server. I am literally called everyone. I never changed that back. There's one nearby. Shh. Oh. Behind me? No. Disappointment? Yes. The heck did I find? Strong gem flute, I guess? No, that's, yeah, that's machine gun. Enhanced handgun. Oh, whoops. Oh. Better to have it than to not have it. Yes, because it's funny. It, it is kind of funny. It was a dumb joke when I did it, but a good one. It was a good dumb joke. Anyway, I have to be in here real quick. I know there are no enemies here, but there is, and there's nothing here to do either, but there's actually one thing. Fuck you. You turn a corner like, wah! <laughs> you turn a corner like, wah! Avon is just standing there, right there, and startles the shit out of you. He just gets the whole magazine empty you know, stupid head. I mean, he is quite stupid. Anyway, I have an empty coin on me. I'm quickly gonna go to my box and put it away. Don't want to be carrying that the whole time. What's this? Tissue sample. Small bottle containing tissue samples from them. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a real quick break here, cuz I need to take a shit. <laughs> oh.
Okay, I'm back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I also got stuck. <laughs> Probably because I had to tap out. What? And sir, sometimes you just have to take a shit. I'm just glad I didn't shit my pants on stream. Now that, that will be all. Took you long enough. It was like, I found that a really big shit. That would have been hilarious. Huh? Where? I'm on the first floor now. Oh, right, I'd already explored the second floor. Spider-Man. <laughs> nah. Hey, a handgun. MP. Guy just minding his own. No, I don't. I don't think he was. He looked. Funny. He was looking at me funny. Okay. I hope to find something to you know do maintenance in the maintenance room. There's just it's just a safe room. The bunk room. This one is just an office. An S2 somewhere is my goal. And S3 is the entrance. Okay. Whoa. They don't have eyes, Roy. Oh. You're right, they don't have eyes. He leaped at me! Not that I ever use them, but I guess I can grab some spikes. Some spikes. I guess I can spike someone's drink. Um. <clears throat> it's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl laughing. I was all in my head. I woke up at 19.30, there was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. So one of the engineers came in and said, there was something going on down below, maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. Yep. He told me he was going to check it out, but he never came back. <laughs> it must have been around 19.50. When I heard the scream, I went to the laundry room and checked and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. Dun dun dun! Don's and Shroon then started coming towards me with huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I 
just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. I can relate. I'm huddled up in the huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of these creatures lurking in the passageways now. The fuck was that noise? I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Venetti. Yeah, you've been doing that all game. Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's my strategy, okay? Mm -hmm. My strategy is cowardice. There are cases where the coward lives the longest. Hey, bullets! Do, 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 do. Shoes! Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a... This is a vest! Why can't I pick it up? What was that? The door's still open. Also, I cannot find that engineer. One who wrote the note. Even though they deserve to die first, I think it really depends on the situation. In this kind of situation, cowardice is not. Dear Janet, Howie, how is it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. I was so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although, there's one thing that's different. This time with a passenger sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple, a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty... What is, so, what is he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any worries. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Well, Janet, Jim is dead. 100%. I don't believe any of the engineers or well, any of the crew survived. I think for everyone on the ship, me as the only survivor. I should count on Ethan, but Ethan wasn't from the ship. He came on here after the accident. Or during? He said Howie instead of, uh, hey. Uh, I think I had like something else in my head, and I just kind of went with it. And I was like, no wait, it doesn't. It's learning. Anyway, power key. You can't use that fucker. Why not? I guess it needs a, f a fuse? I'm in the laundry room. You need a fuse, dumb shit. I think the crew is the moldy boys you've been fighting. Yeah, that's a question. Do they, do they turn people into moldy boys? Or do the moldy boys eat the people? Because we're going to no, know the moldy boys were eating people. And I did find a lot of corpses. Hey, extra inventory. I feel like you'd be way down if you carry like 20 backpacks, but sure. Not to be fair, I think me only picked up one now. Bombs! I mean, they are the most effective. Hmm.
There's a stairway between two rooms. Yeah. Hmm, that would cut off my way upstairs, but that's probably still worth it. Uh, I won't let... There we go. Oh! Door just teleport shut. Uh, wait, what did we establish? I mean, I think this is sort of light, if I had to guess. Or not. Or is it? No. That was already on. Oh, the many backpack thing. Oh, yeah, right. Just twirling around your ankles. <laughs> your legs, I mean. White legged. <sighs> eh. Predictable. This does look like it goes. No, it looks like it goes up more, doesn't it? Let's open this door again and see. Mm, the mold. It's spreading. Do 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 I don't remember what's behind this door. I know it's stairs, but I don't remember if they go only go up or perhaps also down. They don't go down. Oh yeah, there's a time limit on this section. If you run out, you have to do everything again. I don't think they do it like that. This, I'm gonna say doubt. As most games would more actively state they have time limits. Mm. Oh, I'm just in the elevator now. Is there somewhere else where I could use the fuse? Because if I don't... Well, I always have to try. Wow, douche. I guess there's somewhere else where I could potentially need a fuse. I don't remember coming across such a place. Hmm. Jeez, my computer is just going nuts today. <laughs> oh, I am stuck. Very much a farting thing. Ugh. Nuts how. Ah, uh, just making a lot of noise. Oh, look. 
No. I thought I was on the fuse slot, okay? We have to replace me. It already calmed down again as well. It's really weird. Hold on, hold on. I have to do this in style. <clears throat> Waiting. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Man, this guy's nimble. Agile? Nimble? Uh, I think you can use both there. Mm hmm. Nimble is not. Dang it. Even? Dang it. I guess he's in engine room two? Or over here. Or do we get an epic team up between Mia and Ethan? Even though Ethan kind of betrayed Mia. Um, Eve? Eve? Uh, Eve? Mia! But Ethan up your ass. Hmm. No, it's on camera footage and I don't think that footage was from my ass. Damn, it would, look, it, it would seem very cool to me to actually ride. Jesus. Without the monster support. Oh, Jesus. And without the M runs. Ah. Ow, I forgot to did that. Mm hmm. I got lots of ammo. I'm in danger. Yeah, I think so. Partially, either that or he's like supposed to be like rising from the fall. Because these are just mold monsters. I've. I still don't know how they work. It's all starting to get to her. Ah, yes! A big safe, one coin. I'm gonna guess the cargo bay. Mostly because it's closer. 
I was kind of hoping for a save point, honestly. Just to have it saved. Cock joke. I really just, yeah. Yeah, honestly, the, the, the mold monsters aren't very terrifying. I think, like, the normal zombies from Resident Evil 1 are scary. Uh, hello. Ethan. Ah, oh, you can't see. Ethan? Hey, it's Jack. Hey, shh, shh, I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. But what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near yeah, a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a real different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her, and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. <laughs> Sorry. Evelyn. Jay, away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not going to hurt it. Don't you dare. Or what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Why were they cracking so god that much? I can crack my my knuckles up to ten times. Cause I usually can, well No, um There's no time. Here, take this. Uh, ten fingers. Uh that's like eighteen times. I feel like this isn't the right answer. Oh. She's still mad about that. Gordon? Stop it! Stop running at me! Damn, she's actually stabbing with the knife. Like a normal person would stab. I can't believe you chose her over me. Yeah, I've been chewed out on this on stream already. Come on. Kill 
Of course, that's when you regain your senses. Oh no, she doesn't feel so good. Why, Mia? Why? Can I take her knife? No. Mia turned into crank. I have none of my stuff. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? Probably in here. Where am I? It's all your fault. Oh. That isn't the positive message I was hoping for. Oh wait, there's a hole in the fence. Derp. 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 Oh my god, she can't write. It's hard to read. Keep your letters one size. Come on. Bad end? Oh. Into the depths. Hold on. What do I, did I do? Escape from the ship. <sighs> hmm. Oh shit, you killed Mia, you bastard. Well, Zoe's also already dead. Oh look, a helicopter. I'm in the swamp. Well, she never faded away. Well, I'm gonna assume she's dead because she was sitting in a room with Jack, who was petrified. Yeah, I think the turning into a bird shit statue is just a prelude to um, <clears throat> cracking up. Literally. I'm in South Dolphy. So bad end, definitely. 100%. I st I'm not convinced. Nope. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Two and then backward are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. He lost two MILFs in one night. I don't think either of them had children. This Ethan never mentions having a son, and Mia was kind of his wife. And Zoe also never mentioned a child. She was still living with her parents, after all. How do you know? Because it's never mentioned. These things are usually mentioned. Patch mine, two and back are dead. Next one, they're walking. Old man Stan was right. The ground here is too unstable. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. That's a picture of a helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Who's watching? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? 
This is Alpha-1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evelyn isn't Mia's daughter. They were t even told to, to act like their parents, but they aren't actually their parents. It's my head cannon. Well, you're wrong. Oh, okay, so. It leaves it off where it was. You've taken Mia's things! But, uh, the burner! The shotgun! I still have all my toys. Hell yeah, guys. I still have all my toys. Now let's take some. Meds with me. I feel like keeping my own handgun. Grenade launcher, no. Shotgun. Machine gun. Oh, my knife. Hell yeah. I got my knife back. Yay! Now I can be very serious when I stab people again. Plenty of medication. Uh. Enhanced handgun ammo. Handgun ammo. Machine gun ammo. Handgun ammo. I don't have any shotgun ammo. Hmm. I feel like there used to be a way to make shotgun shells, but oh well. I'm probably thinking of another Resident Evil, because I know it was possible in 2. Okay then, so we made it to the mines. And we have eight coins. How much do we need for the gun? Nine. Oh. Ba banana. Banana. -na -na. In my head, Cannon even just does that whenever he, he exits, enters or exits a room. He says, banana. -na -na. <laughs> he feels real badass, okay? Here's the thing, I don't even... I should put away the psychostimulants, and I should use one of these normal first aid bottles. I have no reason not to use them. Considering how full I am on... Shit. Do I still have the herb? I do. And boom. But damn, do I have a lot of shit now. Yeah, these guys. Do Whoa! Get out of my face! Let's say I do look look quite derpy. Thought hole. Mia wasn't wearing the backpack she found in the fight. Oh my god, she was. She wasn't wearing the backpack. This is a this is a great plot hole. Um. 
Create oversight? Um, also, we were freeing Ethan from the goo. He wasn't wearing five backpacks. With the amount of backpacks he was wearing, you should have been able to see one, even from under the mold. Especially the one he has around his legs. here. I feel like Evelyn is uh, active in this area. Wait, I have a knife. What the fuck am I doing? Ooh, strong cam fluid. Let's see, has he learned? No. Like, even if you're gonna stab with the knife, this does not seem like the ideal position. Oh, I'm going down? I thought I was going up. Mines are like my second least favorite location in horror games. For the ones wondering, number... Number one is sewers. I just fucking hate sewers in, uh, in horror games. I find, I find them very, very, it's a very creepy aesthetic. Bitch. Hmm. Hmm. Who put these here? Those are pretty shitty. <laughs> Lucas? Is that you? Technically speaking, I never killed- Lucas never died, I bet. Oh, hello, sir! I don't want to keep my leg. There we go. Oh, crap. Might have been a good idea. Had I thought about it, I would have definitely done it. Because, yeah, you can just crouch under them. I'm an idiot. Well, I'll remember that for next time. I'm in the salt mines.
The fact that you're an idiot is very well established. Okay, good. Hey, remote bombs. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Ow. Ow. Okay. I don't think these are salt mines. But... Uh, are you fucking with me? Is this some joke? I... I... Oh, they are referred to as nimble, actually, by the game itself. No? Um, hold on. Map. Salt mine. Th that's why I, what I, why I, meant, why I said that, because it has mentioned it being a salt mine a few times. <laughs> I actually thought you were fucking with me. Two shots. I wasn't, but I'll take it. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill him. I should really learn you can't just stab all your problems away. Wait, there's one ball on my left. Bing. At least his arm is gone. No, I think he's dead. Many things that are nimble are also agile, to be fair. But now I know this time that they're coming up. I am loading my shotgun. Uh. Ammo I can't use yet. Yet. I am one coin short. Two remote bombs. Oh no, sir, what happened? Oh, right, the other one. Shoot Ethan! Okay, they're both dead. Load shotgun with malicious intent. Yes. Okay, I'm going through my heal bottles quite fast. I'm just glad the lights are on. I said something I should not have said. Luckily, I don't believe in jinxing. Or I'd be even more nervous.
Eh, it's my it's my talents. It's not a tripwire bomb. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sh pretty sure you used more resources against those guy other guys when you died. It's possible. I still have handgun bullets this time, so. Fuck. I was like, can I make that? No, it can't. <sighs> right. I took off my knife for a second. One for Avalyn and one for yourself. But why would I kill myself? Well, this is a dead end, which means it's just resources. Okay, that one doesn't explode. Good. Burner fuel, great. Because you impaled your wife on a crowbar? Hmm, I mean she was stabbing me. With a knife. But I guess it's still pretty traumatizing. done worse to her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like say the stranger over her. Thanks you guys. It's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and dad are still totally under though. I was wondering. Is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into it? It's kind of fucked up. Sent Friday, November 4th. November 4th, 2015. 2.10am. When was the previous one sent? It was on January 16th. It's like, almost a year later. Like 10 months. Damn. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between... Evie La La Land and Reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since me is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks me as her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Friday, September 1st, 2016. Another, like, 10 month gap. Yeah, I noticed that as well. <laughs> it's kind of... It's weirdly layered. The laptop is layered on top... Uh, his texture is layered on top of the bucket, even though the bucket is supposed to be... more forward. Uh, 
Evelyn, uh, Friday, September 1st, 2016, 1.10 a.m. This guy keeps sending in the fucking morning. She's making... Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of them. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something? Her skin is all wrinkly and she's get, getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. And now it's, it's fixed. I guess it's because I'm interacting with it. It wants to pull it forward. It wants to highlight it. I mean, Mia was missing for three years, so it's not that weird. But what? Okay. I guess you mean the, the 10 month gap? Oh, there's a save room right after this. This does not look like a salt mine. I don't know. Like, I say so many things and then forget them immediately. You could have been talking about many things. This report details the symptoms that appear when bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets. Herefore, uh, herefore, I refer to... Hereafter... Oh, I can't read. Hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to grow, propagate itself, and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During her experience, we removed the arms and legs from test, from test subjects. I can tell I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> and found that they were able to coapt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection, when the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If the state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After the, every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing the subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Nothing on the back. Five minutes after dose vomiting. E series neurotoxin, E series dosage test. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. 10 minutes after dose, death. Hey, pills! Damn, why can't I take the random drugs? Target acquired. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweb model. Use only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated for use. Do this by placing a sample of the E-series cells into the neurotoxin container. I have one of those! An E-neurotoxin. I'm guessing that's what I need to kill Evie. It says necrotoxin, not neurotoxin. Okay, sorry. That's an easy mistake to make. It's one letter difference and a neurotoxin is a bit more well-known word.
This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several comp companies NextPass, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with the technical system from the HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralized combatants and mass with minimal direct contact. NextPass was later folded and its, all its assets reverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Enslavement. Since this effectively limits a cost of not only uh, pow, pow, uh, prisoners of war handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the bleep and even bleeps bleep organization chomping at the bit to get on board. This project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in Bleep of Bleep, the remarkably progressed Vicarian's evolution fungus that we commonly term the Mutamycete. I have no clue whether I pronounced that correctly. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the Mutamycete genome to, the, to a pre stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on the usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected, se e the perfected E series. Surprisingly, you did. Wow! A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure the ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations. Yeah. The first e seer specimen, named Evelyn, has proven, to be ca has proven capable of secreting the mutamycete bleep from her tissue at will. It's also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete imposes a profound control over the body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have to learn about the mechanism of which the me mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control. But the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in the pseudomonas bacteria. <laughs> Oh, these are a lot of difficult words, okay? <laughs> Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after... Not really. Oh, well, I, would cons I would consider some words as quorum and pseudomonas and pheromones. Oh, that's pheromones. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I read that as pheromones. <laughs> Uh, there are some difficult words in there, at least. The first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject can see images of Evelyn, though she's not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. I do not find any of those words difficult. Okay. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionships or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycete infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body bleeps. Yay, more documents. Um, I am getting a dry fucking mouth. Ah. Uh, Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term 
organisms and used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are super organisms formed of countless mycelia. More of this guy's terrible reading. <laughs> What's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The weavers have been calling those superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded as in, sh as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing bleep on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique Fung fungisil fungicidal serum. A minute serum for an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify. But it's, if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum, serum will be failed. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is there for disposal of infected subjects, rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to beep would enhance its effects to an extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which bleeps in even tiny amounts. Performing cunnilingus on samples, subjecting it to cunnilingus. Okay. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiment, we found multiple occasions that the infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she set up on family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands the family unit is better suited for to blending into society social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for her perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Oh, That's so cute. I in fact do not know what Conalingus is. Flame rounds. Neuro rounds. Okay, uh. I guess it's. I guess I should pick weapons that I know are going to work rather than weapons that I. rather than the handgun. Oh, oh well. Taking out the handgun, and I'm going to go with the. And the knife, I'm gonna go with the burner and the grenade launcher. Because I feel like a boss battle might be coming up. And quite frankly, these are the weapons I'd rather be carrying. If I thought I'd be in danger, you know, I'd, I'd want these. Cunnilingus is an oral sex act performed by a person on the vulva or vagina of an ah. So put simply, it's it's when you blow a woman. You can't blow a woman, you dipshit. Oh. Dang it. Oh, you go down on a woman. Oh.
Hmm. I feel like a burner is a shitty weapon in the water. Hello. Oh, he's hallucinating, he's infected. Okay. He's too fast. Uh oh. Fuck! I got trapped. Please get out of the water. I did. Okay, I'm doing good health-wise. I should reload my grenade launcher, though. This is a terrible strategy. I already figured that out. Um, I'm assuming you meant the charging. Yeah, you got that noob too. Yeah, I might as well use it. I mean, I can save it all I want, but it's no use after the final boss. Moms. Why don't... I don't have a melee button. Yeah, I guess one bullet from the machine gun might be a little more sparing with my resources. Shit, I reloaded. Oh god dang it! Bastard. You know what, you too.
the mine is collapsing. Again, I think the game would have stayed at some point. Also, you said rushing was a bad strategy. You wouldn't have said that if I actually had to rush. There's the big one! That wasn't the case of reading properly, that was a case of assumptions. I made an ass out of you and me. I am sorry. Mega M run. Mega M run. Hey, burner fuel. That is a weapon I have. Strong medicine. All right, I can re-equip the shotgun because I'm out of bombs anyway. That one? I'm guessing it's the only rock I see to see for a little bit. Create your rope last. That was this one. So this one. Oh, there! Yeah, I see it. Thank you! Don't think I missed anything else. Let's go. Blind bastard. Yes, I am! Ah, 
all the good signs, like save point, 150 ammo. Let's be honest, nothing can go wrong in this section. They're even being nice to me. Yeah, there isn't a room I haven't gone to. So finding the map to the mines is kind of shit. Yeah, oh, there's the first floor. Yeah, that, that, that was awful. That map was not useful. A wheelchair. And the doll. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. I'm back in the baker's house? I am, yeah. Uh... E001. You fucking lied to me, didn't you? About what? About the grandma. Now we'll find a picture of her with E001. I know the E series is important. I'm back in the guest house. You. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? I'm infected, duh. Yeah, I am gonna keep latching on to that because the grandma was was a suspect for being dangerous for me. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. No, it's not. Where it even wants me to go right now. <laughs> Here. Up your ass. Um, I guess that's where I'm going then.
Oh! I guess that can kill me. Fucking called it. Read the message later. I feel like this is time. Ah! Similar to Mr. X at the end of um, RE2. <laughs> I wasn't about to admit it. Ah, uh, understandable. Look at it! Oh shit, that's a shit time to reload! I guess I have to guard. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. I just ran in a bad knees. Oh, I feel like you'd break a few bones from that kind of fall. Albert. Playing it safe, the nightmare's finally over, and just a memory now. Now that's a big pile of shit. It's an enhancement of fuckboy with his Apple Watch. Oh my god. Is this Mr. Redfield? Redfield. I'm glad we found you. 
He doesn't look like Chris. The fuck took you guys so long? They fix not an RA? Oh, that's good. Oh, what a fuck, boy. He's just like, ah, I don't need this anymore. You got the bad ending? Oh. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. The Umbrella Corporation? Wait, what? And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia the first time. But now I've lost her again. And the only other door I can see... Is closed. It's the theme of the game. She's telling you to go tell Orange Road. The Bible. I don't see that helping here. Please don't sing along. No, no, okay, I'm, I'm done being signed now, the song's done. And now I'm not talking over anything, except a little background music. Anyway, what else? That was a great game, honestly, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna go through it again, just to see what happens if you take me yeah, instead of Zoe. <laughs> Hmm. 
Uh, yeah. Wouldn't have been a shame if you had talked over that garbage. Okay, then. But yeah, damn. That was, um... Nine episodes of... Uh, tune in next week for the deals. <laughs> I mean, I should probably play it for that. You can play as uh, Chris, right? In one of them. So it would be pretty cool. Oh. You won't have beaten the game until you've beaten the DLCs. Okay. Yeah, damn. Oh, Jack voice Jack. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, my thoughts on the game, dude. Um, I guess I should put here. Um, a mini game type deal. Um, nah, that happens. Uh, well, my complete thoughts on the game. I do think this is a great, great, great improvement over Resident Evil 6 in terms of actually being scary. <laughs> and I really like the, the abandoned farmhouse um, atmosphere. Aesthetic? I guess both. It was very fun to explore. And yeah, I am excited to try out the DLCs. Yeah. But they were still put into the survival horror genre. Though there was, even though there was no good amount of horror anyway. Just, just small bits and snippets occasionally. But yeah, they, they played more like action games. I was never really worried about ammo in those. And this one I was, but it was mostly because I didn't have all the guns. So like, I didn't, couldn't use all the shotgun shells <laughs> for the largest time. Because I didn't figure out that I can just swap the shotguns. Mm hmm. I, I did enjoy them, but I think that was more from the company we had rather than the, how good the game was. Like, it still played fairly decent. It was a good, it was, technically speaking, it was a very good game. Just, in terms of writing, it was a little less. But yeah, geez, these credits are long. Can I skip them? Oh, yeah, skip the movie, yes. Global Promotion Manager. Okay, so I just skipped through the next credits. That took me 14 hours and 13 minutes and 36 seconds to complete it. I had to research it three times. Only, I missed seven statues, seven coins, two files. I never used a stabilizer. <laughs> We were living shit posts the entire time. Difficulty Madhouse Item The Secret of Defense. Oh, let's look at the extra content which that are free of. <laughs> yeah, I think this is security, security as evidence from the Baker farm. These videotapes never saw the light. Until today, they revealed some of the tragedies suffered by the Baker's prisoners. I guess this one is the mini-game type deal. 
these two are more serious um, extra contents. I believe there's four of them. Yeah, anyway, I do think that's enough for today, though. What's another more? Oh, the online store. The RE net. Oh, what's in the store? Ah, oh, it's just the DLCs. Okay. Uh, the Biohazard Season Pass. Instinct Coin and Madhouse Mode Unlock. Reload Coin and Madhouse Mode Unlock. Universal Defense Coin, Attack Coin. <sighs> you can buy some dumb shit. Coward! No, no. I just ended the game, okay? Give me a break. Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed this, and um, yeah, make sure to tune in next week for probably the uh, the DLCs, unless I really feel like doing something else. Coward! No. No! Anyway, uh, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed, and uh, see you all next time. See you all uh, tomorrow for, for Halo with Nubi. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, yeah, and join the community Discord, follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube for VODs. Yeah. See you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>